Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Oh, and today we'll be reviewing some Disney toys. Some figures I remember from my childhood. We got Simba from... The Lion King. This is a noise-making one, but I gotta replace the batteries on this. Otherwise, he'll go on my shelf until I replace the batteries, at least. Probably wondering articulation. Legs can move. Head can partly move when you hit this switch. He His head moves, so you're gonna be like, rawr, rawr. That's my roar noise. Legs can move. Tail is on a hen. Why not? Why not? This is a cute little Simba. I do say so myself. Now let's get out some comparisons with good old Simba. We got this version of Simba. The small version anyway. I think it's the newer version. Bad old Scar. Yulala, which is the uh, girlfriend of Simba. Why not? There's all the Lion King stuff compared with I own. Next on the list, we got some Peter Pan. We got Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, and she's a cute little fairy. She's missing her wings, though. Real shame, really. She would have been cool on my shelf with her fairy wings. But we do have another Disney character to compare it, compare Tinkerbell with that we should have viewed as well today. It's Captain Hook. I'll get you, Peter Pan. If that's the last thing I do, I'll get you, Peter Pan. I have to move stuff as I do this, but yeah, we got Captain Hook and little Tinkerbell. But in this figure size, she almost looks like she could be a human girl, basically, without the wings. That's nice. These two are definitely going on my shelf. Articulation, you don't get much for Captain Hook. Except for his arms and his swivel. That's all there is to say for that. Next on the list, we got some more random figures I picked up from the Goody Will. From the Goody Will. We got one of the Monsters, Inc. characters. This is one figure I didn't think I'd be owning, but I like Monsters, Inc. I watched the first Monsters, Inc. movie when it came out when I was a kid, and I just loved it. But this is the monster from that movie with a clipboard. He's like, mm-hmm, check in for any... Laws in today's quota. But he's fun. He's cool. And we got the last random Disney I own. It's Flick from Bugs Life. If any of you remember watching that movie Bugs Life, it was a pretty good movie, and I loved it when I was a kid in the mid-2000s, so I didn't mind owning a figure of good old Flick here. Because Flick will always be a part of my childhood. Because he's Flick. Why not? Articulation. He's got some bendable knees, arms, some poses. Some poses if you want to get him in some poses. Like, run away. An antenna are posable. Head is on a ball joint. So this is a nice figure of a classic Disney character from my childhood. So much articulation. He's definitely my number one favorite Disney figure I own next to my Big Hero 6 stuff. Why not? Why not? Next on the list, we got Spin from Frozen as a 12 inch. And this is pretty cool, right? Here we got. Elsa from Frozen, 
Her hair is a bit messy on this copy. But yeah. One of the main girls from Frozen here. We got good old Olaf. So we got quite the entry of Frozen Disney characters. Here's Elsa in tiny, Anna in tiny form. And of course, Spin in tiny figure form. Why not? And that's all the Disney figures I own here in 2023. Are these worth grabbing if you grew up with Disney? Yeah. That's why I still watch Disney movies, because I love the Disney movies. They'll always hold a special place in my toy collection heart from my childhood. And they are definitely going to be a part of my collection for a very long time. And that's why I highly recommend these. They are so fun. To play, play with and mess around with. Well, that's all there is to say for this review. An intro for the next review. I'm going to do some review intro for the next review. Showing off what we're doing next week. It's Batman Two-Face. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves another Batman villain to review. And one, I hope you're looking forward to seeing next week as much as seeing this week as I am. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.